Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11 verse 25 to 30 At that time Jesus exclaimed I give praise to you Father Lord of heaven and earth for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned you have revealed them to little ones Yes Father such has been your gracious will All things have been handed over to me by my father No one knows the son except the father and no one knows the father except the son and any one to whom the son wishes to reveal him Come to me all you who labor and are burdened and I will give you rest Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves for my yoke is easy and my burden light words of the holy father jesus praises the father for favoring the little ones It is what he himself experiences preaching in the villages the learned and the wise remain suspicious and closed they make calculations while the little ones open themselves and welcome his message this can only be the will of the father and jesus rejoices in this we too must rejoice and praise god because humble and simple people welcome the gospel when i see these simple people these humble people who go on pilgrimages who go to pray who sing who praise people who perhaps lack many things but whose humility leads them to praise god in the future of the world and in the hopes of the church there are always the little ones those who do not consider themselves better than others who are aware of their own limitations and their sins who do not want to lord it over others who in god the father recognize that we are all brothers and sisters therefore in that moment of apparent failure where everything is dark jesus prays praising the father and his prayer also leads us readers of the gospel to judge our personal defeats in a different way to judge differently the situation in which we do not see clearly the presence and action of god when it seems that evil prevails and there is no way to stop it jesus who highly recommended the prayer of asking at the very moment when he would have had reason to ask the father for explanations instead begins to praise him it seems to be a contradiction but therein lies the truth